debt can go from zero to euro like and before you know it your 20 pound debt is three thousand pounds and you're looking at it like hello friends welcome back to my channel the bulletproof life it's your girl Runky Adele with me and i'm delighted to have you here i wasn't here on thursday because thursday was a very difficult day for me um on the back of what happened in nigeria on tuesday i wasn't a very happy person on thursday so i couldn't come out with a video for you then i just wasn't in that frame of mind but today i'm back and i'm going to be talking about the money rules we didn't learn in school but we should have because they are impacting our lives. So let's get right into this money rule. The first money rule that we should have learned in school that we didn't learn is that property is wealth. If you want to build wealth, you need to own property. That's just it. Generational wealth requires you to own property. I understand that we are in a time when a lot of people are renting, either by choice or by lack of choice, and it's a bit sad that there's a lack of choice about it, but a lot of people can only afford to rent. They can only just rent, and that's even barely, and um, it's, it's really something that the government needs to change or the system needs to be changed so that people can buy, because property is wealth. I'm not even going to go into the um, politics of it, of why people are unable to buy, why people are not being helped more to buy. But if you can, if you can get on the property ladder, please add it to your goal that you want to own property. Property is that thing that just gains value while you're sleeping. You're just sleeping in your bed and your property is gaining value. You're not doing anything. You're paying your mortgage, you're living in it, and the property gains value. I've seen properties on Zoopla and Rightmove that was sold for a hundred thousand pounds 15 years ago and this year they are going for three hundred and fifty thousand pounds or more seriously this needs to be taught in schools property is wealth the one way to create generational wealth and to secure your future is to get on the property ladder as soon as you can and the way to get on the property ladder is to buy the property you can afford please you don't have to own a five bedroom. You don't have to own a four bedroom. You don't have to buy your dream house now to get on the property ladder. You need to buy the house you can afford. In the neighborhood, you can afford it. So a lot of people are renting in London or in premium locations where even though the rent is affordable, buying is out of it completely because the properties are super expensive. To these people, I always say, think about moving a little bit outside. Think about moving away from where you are right now, which is a premium neighborhood, to buy in a less premium neighborhood where you can afford, but that allows you to own property. You can get on the property ladder if you look to buying where you can afford or buying the property you can afford. So if you are renting right now and you think getting on the property ladder is completely out of your scope, don't despair. It's possible. Add it to your money goals and start working towards it. There are lifetime ISAs to support you. There are help to buy schemes. And again, look into buying a small property. You can always scale up. You can always sell and buy a better property until you get to your dream property. So that's the first money rule that they don't teach us in school, which I think we all need to learn. And it's that property is wealth. The second money rule that they don't teach us in school, but well, they teach us something like it, but it's not it, is compound interest. Nobody teaches us compound interest in school unless you're a student of accounting or you're somebody who is doing mathematics as it's at a senior level or at a higher level. But for the rest of us who went to school and did regular maths or for those who didn't do accounting like I did, nobody teaches them compound interest. They just learn simple interest, but you need to learn compound interest. So for those people who didn't do maths at senior level or haven't had the opportunity to go for an accounting course or don't have the interest, they learn simple interest or are only aware of simple interest, even if that's if they are. But they are not aware of compound interest, which is complete magic. It's something that we all need to be aware of. Compound interest is when your interest earns interest. I'm told that Warren Buffett said, the people who understand compound interest benefit from it and the people who don't pay it. I don't know if you actually said it, but I agree with that quote. And that's because when you understand compound interest, then you seek to invest your money in a place where it will yield interest. So that over time, the interest that your principal gets yields interest. And then your interest, interest yields interest. And your interest, interest, interest 
yield interest and your interest, 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 yield interest. I could go on, blows my mind. Compound interest lets your money make money for you. It lets your money work. Compound interest comes together with time to take your money from O to wow. It takes your money from 10 pounds to 100 pounds. Compound interest is good for you and is why you need to start investing now. And if you understand compound interest, you will stay away from credit cards that have interest rates. Because just the same way the interest on your investment will yield interest for you, that's the same way the interest on your credit card will grow interest for the lender. So basically the lender is investing in you by borrowing you money through the credit card. So they are the ones getting the benefit of the compound interest that you're paying. Is your mind blown? My mind is blown. So as far as the lender is concerned, you are the investment and they are benefiting from compound interest on your money. That means you also need to benefit from compound interest by investing your own money in investment instruments. So the second rule that we don't learn in school is compound interest. The third rule that we don't learn in school is emergency funds. You need to have an emergency fund and an emergency fund is your, oh my God, my boiler is broken. Oh my God, my car needs new tires. Oh my God, I need to travel very quickly to go see my mom because she's ill. Emergency funds save your life. Emergency funds stop you from dipping into your savings. Emergency funds stop you from liquidating the investments you just made, which is your long-term investment that you're making for like five years. You want them to stay. You don't want to liquidate it. But emergency funds allow you to do that. Once you don't have emergency funds, you're going to dip into your savings. You're likely to go into debt. You're likely to take on a credit card just in case. In fact, the people who take on credit card just in case most of the time are people who don't have emergency funds. Because if you have emergency funds, which is your funds for when things don't do well, you don't need a credit card for just in case. So if you don't have an emergency fund, you need to start building one now. And your emergency fund needs to be three to six months of your basic expenses. So everything you would normally spend in six months, you need to build into an emergency fund. Budgeting and cash flow is another one. If you don't have a budget for your money, if you don't know your cash flow, your money is going to go anywhere. If you don't tell your money where to go or what to do, your money is going to go wherever it likes and it's not going to benefit you. If you don't control your money, your money is going to control you. But budgeting basics, knowing the basics of budgeting is such a key money rule. And nobody teaches us in school. We don't have any classes where they say, let's pretend you earn $1,000. This is how you plan how to spend it. Let's pretend you earn 3,000 pounds. This is how you plan your spending because that's what budgeting is. Is a plan for how you're going to spend your money. Friends, if you are not budgeting your money, you're not telling your money what to do. Your money is controlling you. Your money is not being the servant it needs to be to you. You need to control your money. You need to tell it where to go what to do, and you need to know what your money is doing for you. If you can't tell your money what to do, then you can't tell your money to grow. You can't teach it how to grow. You can't make it grow. You can't make it work for you. So budgeting is something that we as adults need to do. We need to know it. We need to learn it. We need to practice it. And we need to pass it on to the kids because nobody's teaching them in school. Nobody taught me budgeting in school. So you need to learn how to budget your money. The next one, which is tied to budgeting, is saving. You need to save. You just need to save. You have to have savings. Without savings, you can't invest. Without investing, you can't grow wealth. If you don't grow wealth, you can't prepare for the future. You can't live that bulletproof life. You can't live that dream life that you want. And that is why saving is a money rule that should have been taught in school. How to save, how to save fast. I've got a video. Uh, on how to save fast, which you can click on and watch. I've even got a video on how to save when you have no money. So you really have no excuse. This is a money rule that is close to my heart. That is something that you need to learn as an adult. You need to learn how to save fast. You need to learn how to save even when you have no money. You need to have that savings somewhere because that is how you are going to progress in your journey to financial freedom and living that dream life, that boss life, that bulletproof life, safe from failure and setback, that is how you protect yourself from all of the trouble that life can bring. Because life 
he does like to bring trouble, as we've seen in 2020. If 2020 has not taught us anything, it has taught us that life can dish out all sorts. And we just have to somehow be prepared for the surprises that life can decide to bring. The death spiral. Have you heard of that before? The death spiral. When your debt starts to spiral, imagine a ball rolling down the hill. That's what happens when death spirals. It just grows bigger. In fact, imagine a snowball rolling down the hill. It's going to get bigger and bigger because it's going to take, more, take on more snow. And that's the way a death spiral is. It's when your debt grows bigger and bigger and bigger against your wish. And nobody teaches us that debt grows. I just feel like you borrow money. And then you hold on to it, do whatever you need to do. And then you pay it back in bits. That's all I learned when I was growing up. Nobody said anything to me about a debt spiral. And honestly, so many people fall into the debt spiral. It just happens. It happens like this. It's so quick. It's so easy to fall into. I mean, one minute you're taking on the debt, you're leasing that car, you're buying that car and paying installments, you're buying that bag and putting it on your credit card, you're getting that credit card and putting a holiday on it because of course you're going to pay back. And then the next thing, the interest is climbing, you're trying to keep up, you're making your monthly payment, but it just continues to grow. Or you've gone for a payday loan, you've gone to a micro lender, and they've given you a loan with an interest rate of 50%. Or let me say it the way they like to say it, 5% a month, which is really 60% per annual, but they're not going to tell you that. So they've given you that 60% interest loan, and then it's growing, it's growing. Or you've made one or two money mistakes, you've bought one or two things you're not supposed to buy, you've taken a loan to start a business and it's falling apart. Like, check out my video where I talked about money mistakes to avoid. Taking a loan to start a business is one of them. Anyway, you've taken a loan to start a business and the business has gone awry and now you have that debt. You still have to pay your daily bills and debt spiral. Debt spiral can kill. Debt spiral can put people into mental situations because you're just there and you're just tired because you don't know how to get out of this. And that is one money rule we don't learn. Your debt can spiral. You need to keep an eye on your debt. Like debt can go from zero to zero like and before you know it, your £20 debt is £3,000. And you're looking at it like... And that is something we don't learn in school. And I'm telling you now, your debt can spiral. Keep an eye on your debt. Living below your means. This is one rule that even though the schools don't teach us, I will hold up my hand and say most African parents taught this rule. They will tell you to live below your means. Cut your coat according to your size. Like, live a Primark life because that's what you can afford. Don't live a Prada life on your Primark budget. African parents, they will teach you this one. But just in case you've been unlucky and nobody's told you this, living below your means is a key money rule. You have to live below your means. You can't afford to earn £2,000 and spend £2,500. You can't even afford to earn £2,000 and spend £2,000 because that's living on your means. And that's not what we said. That's not the rule. The rule is living below your means. You have to spend less than you earn. There has to be that little bit extra that you're going to save, that little bit extra that's going into your emergency fund, that little bit extra that's going into your investment and that's why you live below your means because you can't predict life and it can come at you life can come at you fast honestly i'm not cursing you out life can come at you fast and when it does having emergency funds having savings can help you it can help you bulletproof yourself from what life is throwing at you and again 2020 through it 2020 came it came at us fast 2020 came at us fast. If there's any year that's taught us that living below your means is key, is this year. 2020 has taught us that lesson. Investing is one money rule that a lot of people think applies only to the rich. We think that only rich people invest. We say things like, I've not even paid my bills. You're talking to me about investing. I've not even finished saving. You're talking to me about investing. I've not finished paying off my debt. You're talking about investing. You can invest. You can. You should. Investing regularly and consistently is key to the bulletproof life. It's key to building wealth. And it's a money rule that they don't tell us in school. They just leave it for you to find out along the way. And then a lot of us don't even know how to go about it. So 
I want to invest, but where? What do I invest in? How do I invest in it? Where do I buy it? It's something that a lot of us don't know. And that's because nobody has taught us. I'm here to tell you, you need to invest. You need to invest regularly and you need to do it consistently. Okay. And you can do it, especially if you are based in the UK or in the US, you can do it through investment platforms. If you are not based in these countries and you want to invest still, like if you're in Nigeria and you want to invest in the UK or in the US, there are trading platforms that allow you to do it. There are investment platforms that allow you to invest. So there's no excuse. You can invest. You should invest. That is how you will build generational wealth. That's how you will build wealth for your future, for your later years. If you watch my videos, you know I'm always talking about my retirement years, how it's going to be lit, how I'm going to have fun, how I'm going to be in that posh, sunny, sunny city, living well, living large, simply because right now I'm investing for my future. So that is another money rule that you need to learn. And so I have now shared with you eight money rules that we didn't learn in school, but that are key to building generational wealth and building wealth for yourself and for your future. For you to build that bulletproof life you desire, you need to live by these eight money rules that I have just shared with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's added value to you. I hope you've learned something new. Please like it. Drop me a comment to let me know your thoughts about these eight rules or if there are any other rules you've been living by which you would like to share with us. If you haven't subscribed, please do it by pressing the red button on your right. And don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications anytime I share a new video. Thank you so much for watching. It's always a delight to hang out with you. Until my next video, you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life. Bye-bye.